When planning to create a block, one of the things to consider is whether the block needs to be built from scratch, or could it simply be an extension of an existing block? This lesson introduces the concept of block variations, which are a way to create different versions of an existing block. Block variations are a way to create iterations of existing blocks without building entirely new blocks from scratch. A block variation differs from the original block by a set of initial attributes or inner blocks. When you insert the block variation into the editor, these attributes and or inner blocks are applied. Let's start by creating a block variation that applies a set of initial attributes to the core heading block. To create a block variation, you need a way to enqueue a JavaScript file when the editor loads. This can be achieved using the enqueue block editor assets action hook. This hook works in the same way as WP NQ scripts that you might have learned about in the enqueuing CSS or JavaScript lesson of the beginner developer learning pathway. The difference is that enqueue block editor assets is specifically for enqueuing assets when the block editor loads. Then you're going to use the register block variation function of the WordPress blocks package to register the block variation. Start by creating a directory in your WP content plugins directory to store the block variation code. We'll just call this WP learn block variations. Create the main plugin PHP file in the newly created directory. So I'll just call this block variations as well with a PHP extension. Then add the following code to set up the plugin header and make sure that the plugin code only runs in the WordPress environment. Next, you can hook a callback function to the enqueue block editor assets action to enqueue the JavaScript file. So we'll use add action and we'll pass in the action hook. And then we need to set a function. So we'll call this one WP learn block variations editor assets. And then we need to define that function. So I'm using the function keyword. And inside that function, we can enqueue the JavaScript file. Let's give it a handle, so WP learn block variations editor script. And we'll pass the plugin the URL with the file constant, and then just concatenate the name of the JavaScript file, which we'll call blockvariations.js for now. And then we need to set up the dependencies. Notice that you need to specify the WP blocks dependency to make sure your block variation code only loads once the WordPress blocks package is available. This is because you're going to use the WordPress blocks register block variation function to register the block variation. Now create the block variations.js file in the plugin directory and add the following code. So let's create a new file, block variations.js. And here's what your code looks like. This code registers a block variation of the core heading block. It sets the name of the variation to WP Learn Block Variations Custom Heading, the title to Custom Heading, and the Attributes object sets the content of the heading to Custom Heading. You can now activate this plugin. Then edit a post or page and insert the custom heading block either by clicking on the block inserter and searching for custom, or typing forward slash custom in the editor. When you insert the custom heading block into the editor, you should see that it defaults to having the value of custom heading, but it retains all the other core heading block attributes and functionality. As discussed, Block variations can also include inner blocks using the inner blocks component. This is useful if you want to extend an existing block to include additional blocks inside it, or change the default inner blocks. 
For example, the query loop block is a block that displays a list of posts. The block's actual functionality is determined by the inner blocks it contains. It contains a post template block with its own set of attributes, and the post template block uses inner blocks to display each post's content by including the post title, post excerpt, and post date blocks. To create a block variation with inner blocks, you can use the same WordPress blocks register block variation function, but this time you need to include the inner blocks property. Let's add a block variation of the core query loop block that includes a paragraph block after the post template with the same default content. Just under the custom header block variation code in the block variations.js file, add the following code. You'll notice that the inner blocks property is the same array of blocks that are defined in the core query loop. However, after the post template block, you've added a paragraph block with the content custom query block. Now, insert the custom query block in a postal page, either by clicking the block insert icon and searching for custom, or typing forward slash custom in the editor. When you insert the custom query block into the editor, you should see that it defaults to the set of inner blocks you defined, including the paragraph block with the content custom query block. Block variations are a powerful way to extend existing blocks without having to build entirely new blocks from scratch. Additionally, as you've noticed, they don't require a build step. Therefore, if you have the need for a block that is similar to an existing block, but with additional functionality or different attributes, block variations are a good way to achieve this. However, if your block requirements are significantly different from an existing block, you may need to build a custom block from scratch. This lesson only scratches the surface of what's possible with block variations. For more information on block variations, see the block variations page of the block API reference guide in the block editor handbook. It would also be a good idea to work through the extending the query loop block tutorial in the block editor handbook to see how block variations can be used to extend the query loop block even further.